Okay, so what we have here is a burnt piece of char cloth. This char cloth I made before using a Altoids tin. I made this cloth using my Altoids tin and about five bricks of charcoal briquette. Now, this is used for lighting a fire. This is a ferrocium rod that came off from a uh, magnesium fire starter. But whatever the glue was that held it to the magnesium fire starter wasn't very good and it popped off. So it's still a useful rod, so I kept it as just a little small. It takes a little bit of effort is all. And there we go. I don't know if you can see that, but first try, no problem. Burning like crazy already. And that is what char cloth is. Ow, and that, ow, is used for making fire. As you might imagine. Burns quite well and for a long time. I have a bunch of it. But the whole effort is, I want to see, can I make a whole bunch of it all at one time? Not that I need it. I'm just interested, can I do it? And that's pretty much a big part of why I'm doing these videos. Can I do it? So, that's the tin. I need to put a hole in it. And then I need to uh, bend out these lips just a little bit so the lid will stay in place. It, it's a little too loose for my liking. And then uh, I will be back once that's done. Okay, and we're back. So, I've actually put three little holes in the lid. It looks like there's more, but that's where I didn't punch through, so no big deal. And then I bent out this edge, and now the cap stays on nice and snug. I like that. So that's good to go. So you're asking, what should we use? That's one thing most people don't tell you much about, I've noticed, is they really don't tell you what they're using. And here's an easy thing to use. Go to your local fabric store. It's, it's cotton um, canvas material. And, you know, they used to make tents out of it. The army used to make tents out of canvas. It's just canvas material. It's five, six bucks a yard. That's a square yard, by the way. So, like, three foot by three foot. So, real cheap, real easy, and it makes awesome char cloth. So, what I will do is I will cut along one edge, just enough to fit inside the can, roll it all up, shove her in there, and start our fire. Well, our fire started, but then I'll put it on the fire and we'll go from there. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, and there you have it. This is our original piece of canvas material. And here is the piece I've cut for it. And I am simply going to roll up. Easy squeezy as you pleasey. Just about the perfect size too. Stuff it down in there. And we're good to go. So I'll set the camera so you can see the fire. And whoops. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to move my fire back in the Fire's moved. I'm back. Yeehaw. So what we got here, very simple, very easy. This metal tray is simply a cast iron smoker tray I got from the uh, Home Depot a while ago. It didn't work out for what I wanted it for. But it's great for this. Just got a bunch of charcoal briquettes in there. And I will turn over this one in the middle that I don't like. And move it over there. So now I'm just going to put that right there. Now it will take a while before it's smoking good and before the uh, gases start to escape and burn. So I'll come back once we get that sucker lit up and burning. So you don't have to sit and watch it forever.
All right, I just wanted to show you something. You see it's smoking. It's been about two minutes, maybe three minutes already. And it's already smoking real good. And that's fine. You want it to smoke. But you'll notice with the lighter, it puts the lighter out when I try to light at the holes. That's because it's not ready yet. When it's doing the thing properly, when everything is right, it will ignite. And then when it stops burning, that's when you know you're done. So once we're ready to light it, I'll, get, I'll come right back. Okay, it's smoking pretty good. So I'm going to actually rotate it around a little bit for two reasons. One, so that the heat isn't concentrated in one spot, and two, so I can get some more of that paint burnt off. Not that that's all that important, I just don't want that paint on there, so I'll take it off. Get the charcoal. Now, Let's see if we can get this thing to flame up for us. Almost, not quite, but almost. Now one thing to realize about charcoal, I don't know if most people know this, but charcoal contains a certain amount of clay. And the clay is the white ash on the top of everything you see, and that's why it's so much heavier than regular burning wood, the, the ash from charcoal. So if you want to maintain your heat, you got to be knocking that white ash off all the time, because that actually starts to act as an insulator. And prevents the heat from getting out as well as it would. And now we're getting lots of smoke. We may be able to light it now. Let's give that a shot. We, we're actually getting smoke coming out the hole in the front. I like that. Not quite. I have to be honest, the last time I did this it was a lot quicker, but it was a much smaller volume. The, the Altoid 10 is maybe a, not even a quarter of what's inside there, plus it was a lot less char cloth. So hopefully this will work out. If it doesn't, oh well. <laughs> I'm only out a little bit of canvas, so who cares. And a few minutes. Alright, I will pause the video and come back in a few when it's maybe finally actually ready to light.